Bruce here, and today we are back in Call of Mechanic Simulator 20 and 21. Call Mechanic Simulator 20, there, 1. Uh, ah, Alright, so today we are back at the shop. We got our old school bus and everything. I've been looking around, I ain't seen no snakes, but I feel like there's probably like some rattlers over there because we are like in the middle of the desert. But I was like looking at my inventory and I found a couple boxes and I opened them up and I should have had the camera going, but I didn't. And we found some barn find. So we're going to go see what this barn find is, I'm guessing. Um, I guess this is maybe... Ah, oh, so we got to be a level 10 for barn find. Well, that's a big old fat rip and everything. So we got to get our level up. We're only level 2. So today we're going to be doing a... I guess this order right here because we ain't got no more. So we've got to get some orders in. Look at this little thing. Let me get this little bad boy. Got that big old GPS thing. Hang on. Wow. It's like, why does people bring stuff and they ain't got no oil in it? Um, it looks pretty good. I mean, at least power steering. Uh, some brake fluid the coolant looks okay use some though we got no oil the car don't look that bad I think I'm gonna take it around back uh, we'll wash it give it a nice little clean clean so fresh and clean clean all right let me give you a little bit of a yeah rub a dub dub I wish you could actually like get it and spray it off yourself because to be honest like that would be kind of relaxing. It actually looks pretty good now since it did, we actually cleaned it. Alright. Thing looks good. Look good in the back. Yeah, no dead bodies. Okay. Um, tires look okay. Alright, so. We're going to move it into the garage. And we, like... We need to start buying some stuff. I think I might actually buy a tablet real quick. Um, no, I don't want shopping list. I don't know why I didn't click on that. <laughs> um, I think I am going to buy a tablet. And I think that's probably all we're going to really buy right now. Because we ain't got that much money. So... We're going to see what they want done to this. Let's see. Alright, hi, my name is jo uh, Jonah. I was referred here by my neighbor. He's a car dealer. I hear that you repair your repair shop has been up and running since quite recently. But you look like a palm sea mechanic. It's a most annual service time. My buddy doesn't seem to have any problems. But I'll leave that for you to decide. Please change the oil. Miss fluids. I haven't had time. Okay, first thing is you have no oil. So, that's one thing. Change brake fluid, drain it, coolant. Alright, so, we need to do an oil change on it. Let's go ahead and slap it up on there. We're not going to lose any money. I lost $100, but stupid fluid. Actually, more than that because I didn't do the oil or anything like that. But, I know how to use the fluid sucker. <clears throat> what? Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and drain the oil. Yeah, that it didn't have any in. That it said it. Hang on, we'll change the foot here. Alright, so I'm gonna try this. Alright, so I don't, what did it add to the thing? Oh, so if you look at it, so don't do that. Okay, so. We're looking for an oil filter, and it looks like it was a four twenty-five bucks. We'll slap that bad boy on. I think this is going to be just a straightforward. Actually, filter wasn't that bad. Must have an oil leak or something. That'd be cool to come in, but yeah, I need like a head gasket or something. <laughs> it's just like sitting there, just like just like knocking like crazy and smoking. All right, so. Actually, I want to drain it. We want to use our additional tools. I'm going to drain this out. <sighs> okay. 
want to go up here I'm gonna drain this out <laughs> and we're going to drain this out did it want us to do the radiator too can you I don't can you I don't know if you can drain the radiator or not I don't think it actually said drain the radiator so let's see what what did it say um oh my gosh it's like this just turned into a massive thing change power steering fluid change coolant okay so we do need to drain the coolant so how do you drain the coolant now so I, I'm sure I don't need a tool I mean hmm huh. oh that's probably the coolant there duh like I like for some reason I was thinking of the radiator like we need to do it because like you know the old school okay the the duh um so we're, we're going we're going to fill this now so let's go ahead and fill this I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that in there. Put some of that antifreeze in there. We not we ain't got that good green uh that green green. We got that oh wait, this is windshield wiper fluid. Never mind. I am having a really bad day. We got the blue, but we ain't got that like high that that low, low temperature one. Man, it's, this is just one of those days. Alright. Now let's put that good green green. It's like a giant green gumball. Fill it up. Mm -mm. Fill it up, uh -uh. fill it up, till it's good. Oh. All right, so we need to go here. Go here. Let's go ahead and take that off. Let's put some brake fluid in. I can't, as I can't see what's going on. Bad placement of motor. <laughs> it's like I want to rebuild this whole entire car so I can see the oil filter better. But apparently, we got to do all the brakes. Um. Looks like power steering. Okay, so we gotta do the power steering. So okay, yeah. I knew I was forgetting something, but then I did. All right, we'll suck all that out, and then we'll put new in. Well, it was like some like nasty clear stuff, or uh, like it, it wasn't too red, red. <laughs> Power steering hydraulic fluid. All right, we are good. All right, so all of that is finished. Right, that change oil. I did that. Change oil, drain oil, and refill. Did I not just do that? Like. Is there two drain plugs or something in this car that I don't know about? Use equipment. Oh, I didn't put oil in it yet. That's why I was like, wait a minute. Okay, duh. See, now I'm just... <laughs> Oh, it's horrible day today. I'm telling y'all. Oh, oh, it's gonna be awful, and everybody's just gonna be like ragging on me. <sighs> I do apologize. It's just one of those days. I'm just trying to like hit level five so I can get to a junkyard and try to buy a crappy vehicle to fix up. That's that's all I'm on. All right, so we did that. We did all that. <laughs> I guess we're going to do all the brake pads, ignition coil. All right. So every who told, every who told Joanna, Joanna here, like every who sold her this car got like she got ripped on it. All right, let's pull this off. That was a little bit of a. 
Smart. Pull, pull all these off. All the brakes has got to come off. I can actually add all these in the courts. I, I kind of like that. And court. And court. Yep. Um, the caliper actually looks good, but I'm just going to go ahead and add it in the court, too. Might as well, if we're going this far, we might as well take everything off that we need. I just hope we have enough money to actually buy everything that we need. But good thing is we can actually sell the old parts. Like I was saying before, I think it was Car Mechanics um, 15. I, actually, I was working on a customer car. It was like a Corvette. And I was like, you know, it's like, I, I really just want to take the car apart, you know. Because I couldn't buy a car to build so I took it apart and then I accidentally saw all the parts and I didn't have the money and that car is still to this day sitting in the, that garage since 15 <laughs> they're probably still wondering the guy's probably like man I ain't never going to take this car to a daggone car lot or a uh, show oh goodness alright so it actually looks pretty good back here we can't turn the rotors yet, but I'm going to go ahead and change everything anyways. We're always down. And we'll do it anyways. The rotor, 85%, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Alright, go ahead and do that. Plus, it just looks better on us if we do that. Hey, we didn't have any stuck bolts or anything. Well, I bet you when you get a car from a junkyard, you have a ton of stuck bolts. Alright, we get this. I love that whole, like, add it to your cart thing now. Like, that's the best thing ever. We need some bushings. Now, it's showing bushings, but I don't really know which ones we need. Um, That's the only... Problem and we can't really diagnose it right now. Kind of how it is. Um, that one kind of looks kind of bad. I think we're gonna take. Yeah, that one was bad. Uh, that one looks okay. Can't see the one in there. That one looks okay. Uh, that, okay, so let me get up front and see what if if I can see any bad ones here. Cause I think it was like a couple that we was looking for. Um, that one looks a little yeah, and it's thirteen percent. All right, so it does actually show what's bad or not. So that's that's good because that way it's like we're not going through. I, th I don't know how many bushings it said was bad. Alright, so that looked good. Alright, this one looks bad. Okay, so... I need to... Uh, okay, I took three out so far. So I need to add... Three of those. Alright, so... Let's see what we gotta buy. Um, <clears throat> alright, so, how do I purchase this? I want to purchase everything I have on my cart. Do I just, okay, buy a part, okay. Hang on, can I just do it all at one time? Open shopping cart. Clear list, delete, scroll. Okay, so I need those. So I need four of those. So, do I buy them? How do you do this? It, it, it's terrible. Okay. I was hoping that you can just go straight to that and buy them. And I think it did. Let's see. Scroll, delete from thing. I want to go to... Close. Open shopping list. What the going on here, man? Break disc. Well, it won't even let me get to the store. Okay. You know what? We'll just go. Okay. I need four of these. And 
I need four of these. Let's see, we brought that. And I brought the calipers. We need the disc brakes. I need two of these. So you have to delete. I wish it would like let you buy them all at once, you know. Um, let's see, we brought two brake disc. I need about two of these. Let's see, back to shopping list. And then three rubber bushings. And I know I need to buy the pistons for these. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. I need to go to brakes. If I close that, brakes. I guess it's brake and, oh, okay. All right, they're calling it a cylinder. Okay. All right, so I think we are good to put all the brakes back on. I'm, man, I'm hoping, you know what? Let's put these bushings back in because I'm scared that if we put the brakes back in, I might actually have to take these bushings or the brakes back off if I can't find the bad bushing and stuff. So we got one more bushing here and we'll double check if there is any more bushings that we got to do. I think that would be a whole lot easier for us. Of course, that's, um, Let's see, rubber bushing, uh, rubber bushing, okay, we got three. We got one more bad rubber bushing somewhere, so we gotta find it. And I really don't wanna take the whole car apart. That looks good, cause usually you can kinda tell if they're bad. Sometimes, so I can't tell up here that one looks good. That one looks good. Let's go this one. That looks good. 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 Um, that one looks good. Unless it's like a bushing in there. But it looks okay from this side. And I'm not, I'm not sure if they have a bushing in here or not. Maybe not. I think right there is their bad bushing. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out. Okay, because I was hoping it'd be one of those that we could actually look, you know, look and see, and not have to actually, you know, go through and everything. So we need to look up bushing. Well, I think. We're regular one all right so and usually when I'm rebuilding a vehicle I usually especially if it's like from ground up I just buy like 10 to 15 bushings at a time all right so that should fix air bushings we have no more there we got brakes and everything that should be good and we'll be moving to the actual motor part so that's pretty good all right well all new parts on this bad boy Yes, and we'll go ahead and slap a wheel on the wheels. Everything they look—they're all eighty percent, so I'm not worried about those. They didn't say they want anything changed on it. I just like said, oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with the car. I just need a tune-up. It's like if you ain't got oil in your car, like you need more than a tune-up. I should like rip the motor, <laughs> rip the motor out and be like, right there, it's a problem right there. One of these uh, rotors was wearing worse on one side than the other. Hmm. But I can't wait till we can actually use the lathes and stuff. So it's like we we got some cool stuff to work for too. And then of course you know they are gonna be make you know bringing out more DLC packs and everything like that. And I super can't wait for that because you know I've been waiting for this game and stuff. And I haven't really played you know. 18 or anything like that because it's like I played it out. I I played it for you know a whole you know good two three years and it's like I, I just I was wanting something new and they brought something new so I'm super excited for it. 
So we'll definitely be hammering all this because I mean, I just like doing like the story mode and working your way up to, you know, basically getting cars from junkyards and building the cell. That's where, that's where you make your good money at because, you know, this stuff's good, but just, you know, two to three grand that, you know, that doesn't pay the bills and <laughs> get you good stuff. So we definitely want to, you know, make 20, 30,000 and stuff like that so we can unlock everything. So we're going to be hammered down on it. So look forward to some more videos. Some good videos of us blowing money on random stuff. But I do like that cart thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop that down. I'm hoping I don't have to take anything major off to fix the rest of it. We should have... I don't, I don't want a phone call. Um, break disc. All that's good. Let's see. Belt tensioner spark plug all right so we'll probably we're going to change all that oh we got we got us a little turb ski back here all right we need to start doing some belts and stuff hang on let's see the belt they want a serpentine belt as if they want serpentine belt a so we're looking for belt a which is probably down inside there Take this off. I'm pretty sure we're going to, have to pull all this to get this case off. And we'll probably see air bad stuff on in there. So that's pretty good. We don't have to pull too much off. No wonder they want us to pull the uh, power steering reservoir off. I don't, I don't think they wanted us to, so it's okay. Yep, definitely need that. So we need that, 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 and the belt. So let's pull all this off. Oh, we gotta pull the belt off. <laughs> pull that off and then pull this. I think this is really all we gotta change. Nothing else looks too bad. The woman was real lucky. Especially if it didn't have any oil in it. Alright, let's go ahead and buy everything we need. This is what I like the tablet for because we can just go straight here. Alright, I wanna buy this. Oh man, it's gonna be like close on stuff because. We really don't have that much <laughs> much money, so I like this because you buy the exact part. I always have some reason for getting what part. I'm sure at one point, like the devs of this game was like, if they see in my videos, like we feel sorry for this guy. Do I need do I need to replace the camshaft? We do have to replace the camshaft. Well, we got to replace the spark plugs anyway, so we'll pull these off. I don't know if these are bad. Do they want us to do ignition coils or anything? All right, so we got one bad ignition coil. And we're going to pull this out, and looks like we got two bad spark plugs, but we'll probably go ahead and put three in, or four in, because I ain't going to just put two. We'll just do all new little tune-up for her. We'll go ahead and pull this out. Looks like it's just one. Let's see, we need four of these. Looks like it's just one bad cam. Let's see, pull that. I need that. And of course, we gotta pull all this. It's not, you know, never easy job. Nah, it's not that bad. At least we ain't got to take the whole car out or anything like that. Or drop the oil pan or anything to, you know, further damage of the car. So we'll get all this off. And all this looks good, so we'll pull this off. Oh, man, I want to take this off. And we'll pull the time and gear off. bum bum that now we should man I hope we have enough enough oh I bet you we gotta go back to electrics for that 
Yes, yeah, so we need four of these. I wish you'd put the amount that you put on there, but I guess you just look and do it yourself. Camshaft, when you get back to the engine. I hope it's not very much. 250. We better get a good on payment because we are, well, I did spend like 500 on getting a tablet, which it was worth it. But we're definitely going to have to get a table so we can start like fixing parts. Because <laughs> it's, uh, we're running down our profits here, especially, you know, I, I don't know if we actually get paid for the money that we spend on the parts or it's just overall, you know, like that. I don't know. I say we do. Like, all right, well, this is what we had to pay. We found out this or that. Get some people come in for diagnostic. Like, my instinct's going, <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know. Needs a new motor, but you live that ta -ta 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 would be coming from like the wheel, but that new motor definitely. The new motor solved that right there. <laughs> all right, it's gonna put all these in. I'm pretty sure we got a bad coal. I have to buy. I'll have to buy one, but I don't know which one we need. See, I, I want to put like performance parts in this mug. Got new spark plugs. Well, it just dropped down in there, didn't they? It was like, no turning, no turning the spark plugs. It'd be a whole lot easier when you're doing like V12s. All right, so we got a bad coil. I'm not going to buy all new coils. I feel like that should be a waste because we're about 70. But we do have to buy a coil, which is going to be electronics. 60 bucks. A little pricey tune up right here. We we better get a little bit of chunk of change. I just want to get rid of this car. All right, so put our new one, new roller. We'll go ahead and put the new belt on, so we'll have a new belt. I think the other belt looked pretty good. So anything below, you know, it's red or something. I'll definitely replace it because usually it'll pop up on the list. Oh. You know, discover this or that. All right, so that's good. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything in there because it was like discover, but I think we should be. That wasn't red, so I think we're good. And that's a good belt. And the pulley, 78. We're still good. We're golden. I think we might be done with this. Yep, I think we are. All right, we'll go ahead and check the oil real fast. Uh, we did. I'm pretty sure we did fill. We did fill the oil up. All right, we got new oil and everything. Had to pull it out front. Give it a couple revs because that's how we. That's how we do it. All right, so my parking lot is only available for. Right, entrance A. All right, let's start this bad boy up. See what it sounds like. You know, I'm always interested in what the cars sound like. Oh, yeah. Get that blow off valve. I bet you this thing would rock and roll. Can I take it on a joyride? <laughs> um. Hang on, I might be able to actually take this car on like a test track. I think we should take it on a test track. <laughs> we're, we're, we're taking 308 horsepower. I definitely want to get my dyno set up. Let's go. All right. Oh, I'm burning them, burning them. Suspension test. Oh, we got this. You know, we got to put it through its paces. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I was supposed to actually stop there. Well, hang on. We got to get a little cool little thumbnail of this little car here, you know? Well, boost like a Mini Cooper wannabe. Oh, we're on. 
Oh, I felt that one. Donuts. So, we just went and took a rip in a customer's car. I'm not really worried about what brings back. I just wanted to see if it would like rip and they look I can get out here and like squeal some wheels and stuff. All right, so we are done. $2,200. I feel like we kind of got ripped off on this one. $2,200 don't pay the bills, but we're doing it. We're, uh, we're getting to the level and stuff. We need to get to level five so we get to the junkyard or everything. We got a couple more cars. Um, sloppy steering. I'm going to go ahead and take this order, but we're not going to be doing it until the next video. Oh my goodness. I actually like this. I rocked the crap out of this thing. I want... I'm gonna check the oil first. I was just sitting in the passenger seat just to see what it what it looked like. We got to also let's fire this bad boy up. But this will be our next one. We're gonna work on this for the customer. See what's going on. It said sloppy steering. Looks like need some you know parts. Yeah, a little rev. Hit that rev limiter. Yeah, remember if it if it ain't running right. You just rev it. That'll always fix it. Um, but anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Next one will be of this. Hopefully, they let us put a new fender on. We don't have... I don't know if we have a paint... I don't think we have... Do we have... We don't have a paint base. We don't. So we can't really paint the car. How it. But we'll clean everything and they want some the steering and stuff. So hopefully we get to fix it and everything. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you punch the subscribe button. And don't forget to head over to ghostworkshop.com and get you some ghost merch. Support your boy. Yeah. As we build this crappy garage together. That would get me. What do you do as a drive through Just back through or you have somebody with you all the time? Could you imagine back through? Like, sorry, on the wrong side. I bet people around here in America have trouble with, like, the male Jeeps.